Good morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about keyboard interfacing with A255. This topic is present in the subject mechatronics. Keyboard interfacing with A255. Keyboards are organized in a matrix of rows and columns. The CPU accesses both rows and columns through ports. Therefore, with two 8-bit ports, an 8 by 8 matrix of keys can be connected to a microprocessor. When a key is pressed, a row and a column make a contact. Otherwise, there is no connection between rows and columns. A 4x4 matrix connected to two ports. The rows are connected to an output port and the columns are connected to an input port. Getting a meaningful data from a keyboard requires three major tasks. First task is detect a key press. Second task is debounce the key press. The third task is encode the key press that is produce a standard code for the pressed key. Logic zero is read by the microprocessor when the key is pressed. Key debounce. Whenever a mechanical push button is pressed or released once, the mechanical components of the key do not change the position smoothly. Rather, it generates a transient response. This may be interpreted as the multiple pressures and responded accordingly. The rows of the matrix are connected to four output ports and columns are connected to four input port lines as shown in this diagram. When no keys are pressed, the column lines are held high by the pull-up resistor connected to plus 5 volts. Pressing a key connects a row and a column. To detect if any key is pressed is to output 0 to all rows and then check columns to see if a pressed key has connected a loop to a column. Once the columns are found to be all high, the program enters another loop, which waits until a low appears on one of the columns that is indicating a key press. To avoid this problem, two schemes are suggested. The first one is use of bistable multivibrator at the output of the key to debounce it. The microprocessor has to wait for the transient period at least for 10 milliseconds so that the transient response settles down and reaches a steady state. If any of the columns are low now, 
then the assumption is made that it was a valid key press. The final task is to determine the row and the column of the pressed key and convert this information to hex code for the pressed key. The 4 bit code from input port and the 4 bit code from output port that is from row and column are converted to hex code. Keyboard interfacing flowchart is represented here. First, we are initializing 8255 row, column, counter and key code register. We have to check whether key is closed. If it is yes, then we have to wait for key debounce. Then set row counter, then ground one row and read column counter, set column counter, check for key pressed. If the key found, then transfer code to accumulator. Stop. This is the flowchart representation for keyboard interfacing with 8255. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.